Hi there, thank you so much for being interested in my work. In this video I share with you my techniques and tips on how I explore charcoal. From the outline, to the basic structure, to the finished details. Be sure to watch it right through till the end because here and there I'll be slowing things down in real time so you can take a closer look. So let's dive in and take a look. Nice surface to work on, Artisar, 50 sheets, really good price as well, acid free, nice tooth to it as well. So I just positioned it in place and taped it up. Here's what I used, a willow stick, uh, a, a piece of sandboard just to make a point, I'll show you how to do that later. White charcoal generals, Contia Paris HB and 2B. Paper stump and a flat brush, mono zero eraser and a click eraser. And you really need one of these. It's a Faber Castell needleable eraser. It's the best eraser I've found. A lot of them go dry, and this one really keeps pliable. And you can mould it into any shape you like, which is really useful. Now to sharpen the willow stick then or vine sticks is just to use this like sandpaper pad and just keep turning the stick circles until it gets to a point and then just wipe the excess off like that then you'll find you've got a nice sharp edge then. I use this 9mm snap off blade start about an inch away from the point and slope it don't dig into it or she'll snap the lead and then just push through with your thumb and then once you've done that just shave for the point then to a fine tip and then do the same with the, the black charcoal pencils this is how I set up my reference image. This on a program Adobe Photoshop Elements 2023. Uh, it's really good to use. Um, I added another layer which created a box grid like this. You just select the select tool and press on the image and it created this sort of little grid with a center point there look. So that's all I'm using really to do the freehand. Size is eight and a half B five and a half. So I just found the center point in there and just put a little spot there with one of the pencils, HB. Will a stick, I'm starting from the center point. Imagine angles uh, from that area and then just do the big shapes first. Imaginary angles, blocks of shapes, and just lightly put it in first with a vine charcoal stick. Just using a charcoal pencil there to find the alignment using a horizontal plane, you know, finding where the bottom of the ear is to where the nose is. So you're comparing one shape against the other. And basically it's just a bit of guesswork to start with. It's just gotta be loose with it. All the marks can be easily erased with this vine stick as well I mean it's great for that I mean you can rub it out with the uh, needable eraser and you don't want to even see where it's been that's what's great about starting off with these vine sticks it makes it so easy to just move around and reshape something so it's a really good method this is to find uh, the way to draw freehand and and not be sort of concern too much you know because anything can be easily changed so it's really fun to use. What I tend to do is use the needleable eraser to reshape the mark so you pull mark down then you can just erase it away and reshape again and so you're actually sculpturing the areas with this needleable eraser it's an amazing tool to have. Adding a little bit of form now to the face uh, just adding them in darker areas and then just getting a basic idea of the feel of it uh, before I start going over them with the charcoal pencils because th this is not really a permanent charcoal it just sort of smudges ever so easy but when you go over with the charcoal pencils it makes it more sort of permanent and this is what this is I'm doing now look I'm just going over now certain areas that I feel comfortable that seem correct and then just going over going over that pigment and it makes it so it's less easily to erase. It feels more stable, you know, so you, you can sort of put things into place and not move so easily. Uh, because when you use the vine, you've only got to slightly nudge it and it just wipes it away. So this, now what I'm going over is making 
the charcoal more sort of permanent really uh, and not um, so smudgy if you know what I mean it's hard to put in words if you're enjoying this video why not subscribe it's absolutely free and you're sure not to miss any of my future videos as well as values there's a chroma to think about even with black and white drawings and charcoal drawings so I put the white down first then put the HB over the white and that seems to create a little bit of a glow um, so it's a case of just keep piling on the charcoal and erasing here and there and adjusting it until it starts to shape up I try and work on several areas at once so I get the overall balance because what I try and do is create a oneness rather than separate details everywhere so it's more about feeling the energy than actually every little detail being the same it's just a bit of fun this drawing is for Halloween and you know it's from the film Hocus Pocus and she's a great character I mean it's the Sanderson sisters isn't she and she's the lead character in the film uh, it's amazing a funny film and with this just being a screen grab the details are not great you know you can't see many sort of very fine details so this is a good portrait really to do these sort of things just to draw what you see and the eye fills in the gaps so you don't always have to have a photograph that is so minutely detailed to feel comfortable because sometimes you can feel a little bit stressed and overwhelmed if you can't see the details around shadow areas and that because there is a lot of lost edges in paintings and drawings sometimes so this is a good practice for that just just doing blocks of shades and then just letting it just happen because the details will just like, present themselves um, but it won't be details it will it will be a suggestion here and there but the mind when observing the portrait will fill in the gaps like I say and it will look more detailed than it actually is. To take this opportunity to thank all my Patreons for all their wonderful support every month, I can't thank you enough. If you're considering joining me on Patreon and would like the benefit of longer, slower and more in-depth videos, please check out the link in the description below. I will be putting this on as a a free actual video for everyone on Patreon just to celebrate Halloween. All the new videos I put on Patreon now is all in real time audio, real time video, so you'll be able to hear and see me step by step as I progress with this drawing. For more details, please check out the link in the description below. Now, to keep yourself sort of centered and less involved with details and overwhelmed by the fact that there isn't much details what I tend to do is like we have everything I uh, draw is to open my heart let go of the mind and send this open heart feeling to the reference image and you'll find that more energy will come back and it'll go into you and out of your hands and then you'll feel and express the personality of the person and in this in this instance the quirkiness uh, because this, she's got a lot of makeup on and the, you'll express that funny side of her you'll you'll bring out that sort of character just slowing it down a little here so you can see how i use this uh, putty rubber or kneadable razor just to lift off the pigment first and then just go over it with a white it's just on the collar there she's got some studs Add in the white for the highlights and then just going over it then with the HB just to chill it out a little bit because you don't want it too bright and then reshape things. Now here there's a pattern on a dress here. I'm using the needle ball or razor to sculpture it first over the actual vine charcoal or willow charcoal because it moves so easily. And then once I've, I'm happy with the placement of it again just going over them with the darker pencil which makes it sort of more permanent and don't rub off so much so basically just getting those shapes in and just be as loose as possible because all it is is just a, an expression at the end of the day I'm not trying to make it exact copy and there's not much detail there anyway so I'm just really just adding what I see now 
Now, once I'm happy with the placement of the necklace there, I'm firming up again with the darker pencils, but just squinting my eyes to try and get that balance of values because those beads are quite dark. And it's just a, a, a case of getting that sort of balance right now uh, to give the correct form. Now, there's a lot more studs than what I'm putting in, but I'm not really concerned about getting exact amount same as what the reference image is. It's just my interpretation again. I just want to try and be loose with my work. If you're enjoying this video, why not give it a like and share it with your friends? It would mean so much to me because this would help the channel to grow. Just to repeat the procedure then, so I'm using the vine charcoal stick here, or willow charcoal in this case, and I'm just shaping it up with the kneadable eraser because it's so easy to do that on top of that vine charcoal and then once you're happy with it just shape it up then with and firm it up with using the pencils and then just glazing here and there it's just a matter of getting that feeling right because this is like a velvet jacket so i'm just trying to get that texture you have to be aware really of the different textures and different feels of different parts of the portrait like the background you, you you try and create the feeling of space there, the hair, you feeling of that sort of glistening to it. Uh, slowing down to real time just to show you how I'm sort of softening the face in places, getting that sort of texture in, in there as well. It's just feeling your way and and feel the actual energy in it, you know, it's it's just a case of just keep playing around with the values. Here I'm just slightly rubbing over with the needleball eraser and it's just lifting the value a little bit. Uh, because I've gone over with the pencils it's not wiping it straight off. If that were vine charcoal it just wipe it straight off we're just going over it lightly. Here you can see how I've shaped the needleball eraser into like a point and then just very very slowly going over some areas and then just lifting the grain here and there to make it more realistic. Now at this stage of the drawing what I'm doing is looking in the mirror a lot so I'm standing in, in the back towards the portrait with the mirror in front of me looking over the shoulder and seeing it from a different angle which brings out the imperfections and the the balance of it and what I'm trying to do is create the value balance better um, which will give it more of an accurate form and make it more 3D so it's really important to get them values correct as much as you can. What I'm making sure is that when I put the white down as well it's not too bright in areas because when you start using the white chalk you have to sometimes go over with the HB charcoal pencil just to sort of lessen the brightness of it but it keeps the brightness and it shines through the HB pencil which creates more of a shimmery look to it as well which is quite interesting to play about with. See, I use a nine value system. So there's four lights, four darks, and a mid-tone. So really, you've got to simplify all these different tonal values into those nine value states. And it's just a case of just trying to get that sort of balance overall, really. You have to make a decision whether it's going towards the light or the darker part of the, the nine value system. But it, it all comes with practice. It's just a matter of learning to simplify things it's knowing what not to put in sometimes. Sometimes less is more, and the more expressive I'm finding what I'm doing now, it's, it seems to bring out more energy. Another important factor of putting the details is, is to look at the edges. Some edges are sharper, some are more blurred, some are lost. So it's just a case of just feeling your way, feeling how they feel, whether it's standing out more, it needs a sharper edge, or if it just sort of melts into the background, just a softer and lost edge. So it's a case of playing. Thank you so much for watching the video right till the end, really appreciate it. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. It would mean so much to me because this would help the channel to grow. Fascinating subjects, great character. If you haven't seen the film Hocus Pocus, I'd really recommend it. It's amazing, especially for Halloween. Uh, so funny. Now these drawings are really handy to do um, with this technique because it learns you values and you can move things around easily with charcoal so you can play with it and play with the shapes. And 
once you've done it it gives you an idea as well of the values so when you do do like pastels or oil paintings it's a lot easier because you know you've done all these black and white studies so I'd recommend having a go there now if there's any questions at all let me know how you feel about the drawing please leave a comment in the comment section below this video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can but in the meantime if you want to see any more of my work please check out this video here take care bye